Hey guys, it's William. In today's video, we're going to do a local SEO audit for a detox center or an addiction center. That's right, a local SEO audit for a detox center. So in today's video, we're going to do a local SEO audit for a detox center or addiction treatment center. Let's go ahead and jump right in. It's for All In Solutions Counseling Center down in South Florida. They also have another location in New Jersey. A couple of things here. We're going to use this tool. It is called, it's an extensions, SEO meta in one click. Enables me to literally look at this and go, okay, for instance, how many headers do you have on your website? A header essentially tells Google, hey, this is what this website's about, right? Which should be, in your case, addiction treatment. And whatever city you're in all right unfortunately what we see first off the bat this is taking up a lot of space up here I don't like this because it's wasted space I would have put that down here all right the next thing we see is we're going to check all these and all of these do open up in separate windows which is good because a lot of web designers don't make that happen they usually forget and we want it to always do that, okay? So that's a good thing. Your phone number here is click to call. Perfect, great. Now let's go through here. On your H1 headers, let's see if you got proper H1 headers. You do not. So you have three H1 headers. We only need one H1 header. We don't ever want more than one H1 header. The next thing we're gonna look at, just overall looking at your content, right? You're first off, you're telling everybody, hey, this website's about an addiction treatment center in Florida and New Jersey. So it's telling me you're actually trying to take both of these locations and putting on one website, which is not going to be good for SEO. When it comes to local SEO, you want one GMB per website, right? I want to put this one, which is, Bo is Boyenton. Beach, Florida. I want it on its own website. And then I also want New Jersey on its own website. Okay. Then I want your reviews embedded on the home page. These are just basic, if you will, SEO factors that we want to account for. We want one GMB per website, no more, no less. I ran a local SEO audit report for you. And first off, you have 640 issues, 577 info, 57 warnings, and six errors. It'll take me about a week to fix these issues. So if you, I'm going to send this report over to you. If you'd like for me to fix them, just reach out. If you want to fix them yourself, you have this entire report. And you can go through this entire report and fix it yourself. Right? Now... We also want to look at your Google Core Vitals and see if you pass. It was one of the latest, if you will, Google updates. And it's going to tell me, does my website pass the Google Core Vitals? Is it built with the user in mind? How fast is it? Is it good on mobile, desktop, all that jazz? The next thing I ran for you is I also ran for you um, if you will, your local Falcon report, your local Falcon report is a GeoGrid report. That GeoGrid report is going to show you, are you ranking or are you not ranking, right? So what we can see is your average ranking position, which is right here, is an eight. The good thing is you're in the top 10, right? Overall in a two and a half mile radius, which isn't much. Um, it gives us something to work with, though, all right? And if we scroll down here, here's your GeoGrid. It's not pretty. What we want to turn this from is red to green. When someone looks up you for an addiction treatment center and they're in New Jersey, we want them to find you, and they're not, okay? Your top competitor is Seabrook Cherry Hill. Another thing we would do is we'd go to your top people, like in this case, is going to be Seabook Cherry Hill, right? And then Sunrise, and then also Elevated or Legacy. And we want to take a look at their websites as well and see what they're doing. And whenever I do SEO for anybody, 
I'm going to do some research and I'm going to look at the top three people, at minimum the top three people, and go, what are they doing different than I'm not doing? You know, virtual tour, what pages they have, what type of content they have. I'll look at their site map, right? and go even on their site map and go okay according to their site map what type of pages and content do they have how many blogs do they have you know these are basics that a lot of people forget about when they're looking to try to do seo like on this one this straight up h1 had our addiction treatment in cherry hill new jersey this is probably the best website i would say to imitate um, i would want to look at their site map and go okay for instance, on their site map, if they do have one, and I hope they do, I can actually look at how many blogs they have, how many pages they have, and then what I want to do is I want to take that, duplicate it. I want to take this and go, okay, for instance, how many pages do they have? I want to create all these same pages, and you can see it's a very competitive niche. They have hundreds and hundreds of pages, if you will. They have exactly 635 pages. Then if I went over to their blog, I can see how many blog posts they have there as well, which will once then, again, I would want to duplicate, right? I want to take what they're doing and they're using to win, and I want to duplicate it on my own system. Another 557 blog posts, and it tells you the type of things they're writing about. For example, the impact of drugs and alcohol on millennials, side effects of opioids, all these things gives you a very good idea of what type of content you need to have on your website. So for example, if I went to your website, right, and I'm just looking just to see what type, how many pages you have. So they have almost 600 and something pages and you have 31, right? So you're never going to be able to compete with that. You're never going to be able to rank in the top if you're not doing what they're doing. Your blog has three. So this audit should give you pretty good basics of what I would tell you to do. I'm gonna tell you you're gonna need about at minimum, at minimum, just to even get started, 30,000 words of content. Now imagine if you were to calculate this, they have 600 and just for example, 635 pages and each of them have about 1,500 words of content. You need about a million words of content just to even begin to compete with these people. Okay. Um, as far as your page speed, your core vitals, you fail it. You need to get these items fixed. I'm going to send this report over to you as well. Um, so I, hopefully this was some good insights and tips that I would look for anytime I'm looking to rank anyone for local SEO. Addiction treatment is a very serious thing, and also it's a very spammy niche because you get a lot of competition in it because there's only a subset of doctors that can do it, etc. So what I would do is honestly hire someone like me to come in here and fix all these things for you. Once we've got it fixed, then we start the actual SEO for you and start getting you rankings. Knowing the fact that you are in New Jersey, right? If I was to choose and you only wanted to rank for New Jersey and we go New Jersey population, right? You got 8.8 .8 million. That's a very, very, very competitive area, right? I wouldn't touch this no less, you know, for one city. It's at least $1,500 a month. If you go over to my website at rankfortress.com, you'll see our pricing. Anything over one and a half million is $800 a month if it's up to half a million. Any place like New York City and bigger areas like Jersey, it's $1,500 a month. It would take me about three months to get you in the top three pack of Google and get that geo grid from red to green so you wouldn't look like this anymore. I appreciate the time. Once again, if you'd like for me to audit your website, comment below and say, hey, Bill, can you audit my website for you? And I'll do that for you. I appreciate you guys' time. If you have any questions whatsoever, please drop them below, and I'll gladly help you out. You have a great day, and be blessed. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners and haters.